So, you know, a main question that I'm sure everybody has regarding skydiving is how do you get around the dangers of it? Because there's unknown risks of jumping out of a plane, right? And so how do you make sure before you jump or even in the air, you, you keep your guys and you specifically safe as possible? Sure. So, I mean, it, you, you can never tr- truly get rid of the danger, but... You know, we, we've been kind of doing this for, for a few decades now and, and the, the equipment has become um, a lot safer, um, procedures have become safer and, and the kind of the, the way we train people um, to, to kind of to, to deal with anything they may came, come up against. Um, I, I suppose ultimately for, for that first jump is that balance of like how much information you give because you can overload someone with so much information um, but you, you, clearly you need to give them enough to get through that first jump and then you kind of add more information on, onto them once they've kind of experienced that. And that, that really is, is a balance. But I think, you know, we're, we've refined it now over a few decades. And, um, yeah, so I, I, I would consider skydiving to be pretty safe. There's, a, there's enough kind of safety parameters in there. Um, but what, what can happen is as you go on to, like, the more – um, advanced kind of forms of skydiving and that they can then become a bit more dangerous. Yeah. And, you know, I'm thinking too, a part of the, the thrill of skydiving has got to be the, the, uh, the known danger to it, you know, like you're free falling out of the sky and humans don't have wings, you know, that's gotta be some of the attraction to it. And like you said, yeah, especially with something like that, you probably want people to be more calm than they and frantic. So you probably do want to have a balance between being instructed correctly and being like hyper anxious about everything that you get, could go wrong. Right. Absolutely, yeah, and uh, so, so a, a lot of um, kind of our training is, is is sort of practicing everything on the ground, practicing the different eventualities, um, so that when when you're actually kind of there there in the moment, you, you've got like sixty seconds in free fall, and then once once you're kind of under canopy, you, the instructors aren't with you anymore. Um, you, you may have a radio, but of course, radios don't always work. So, um, I mean, you, you do have a radio for, the, for those first few jumps. But again, you've also been taught how to kind of do everything yourself in case that radio fails. Yeah. And so specifically in the air, if something goes wrong, are you guys taught a certain way to keep your guys self calm and to fix it while free falling in the air? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, um, and, and this is what, it, what we start with, with our students, like, like say from, um, from jump one, we kind of, we, we, we go over the, the likely scenarios if something kind of goes wrong, which it tends to be for, for, for those, um, those first jumps where, where they're kind of spinning um, or if they kind of end up on their back. So we, we teach them how to deal with those situations as well, but actually we're also trained and assessed as instructors to kind of, usually get in there before um, before they even deal with it to actually stop them and, and get them back the right way around and, and all that kind of stuff. But clearly we, we, we don't really talk about that with them. We just teach them what they need to be doing and we're mm-hmm. worried about what we need to be doing when we're doing that. Yeah. And so you said like on your back or if you're spinning, what, like I, like I said, I don't really know that much about skydiving. What is the correct form, the correct way to skydive? Um, like from the beginning when you're about to jump and then in the air specifically? Sure. So we, we teach everyone, first of all, the, uh, the, the first position we teach them is, is like a belly to earth position. We, we call it a belly flying. Um, and it, it's clearly um, because the parachute's on your back. So when you belly to earth, the parachute's on your back and it kind of deploys skywards. That's kind of how, how you want to be when, when you're deploying your parachute. And that's the first thing we need to teach students before we do anything more advanced, like intentionally being on your back or intentionally being sit flying or all that kind of stuff. That's like really advanced stuff down the road. But initially we, we need to get them to be stable belly flying um, so that they can deploy their own parachute safely. And that, that's the main goal really. And so if, if let's say you end up in a position where you are on your back and it's getting to that altitude where, or you're spinning, you, if you're getting to that altitude where you need to put your parachute up, what, how do you help? How do, what, what do you instruct them to do? What is the correct way to do if you are in those dangerous scenarios in the air? Uh, so, so 
ultimately uh, we, we, we teach them at the end of the day you need to pull and get some sort of parachute out um, what, what a lot of people don't realize as well is that there's um, there's like a backup backup device which is um, it works on barometric pressure and it, it will um, it will initiate your reserve for you if you were like knocked out or um, if, if you didn't deploy a parachute it, it, it will fire your reserve for, up for you but that's like a absolutely like last resort kind of thing. Yeah. You guys have like backup parachutes and things like that. It's, yeah. It's it's fascinating because it's like, you guys almost certainly have to have, well, you guys almost, it's just definitely a sport now, but you guys definitely have to have specific techniques on how to do it. And it's correct me if I'm wrong. It's gotta be the most dangerous sport, right? Is there a more dangerous sport than skydiving? I, I would say base jumping is much more dangerous than, yeah, is, and that's the one where you have like the like the the not they're not squirrels flying squirrels but like the suits that are like this where you like have like the wing kind of thing and you just kind of <clears throat> yeah, soar right. Yeah. yeah, I mean you you can base jump without a wingsuit like people base jump from antennas, bridges, uh, all that kind of stuff. But I mean you, you're so much closer to the ground. There's no backup parachute because you wouldn't have time to use it anyway. There's no electronic device that will open a parachute for you so it's literally one parachute you pack it but you pack it a lot more with a lot more care than you would your uh skydiving parachute and uh yeah it's it, it, it there's, there's a lot um the, the parameters are a lot tighter than, than for skydiving you